Hello my friends how are you all Hello sir I am fine Hello sir I am fine how are you I am fine So friends tell me what do you want to learn today Sir today can you please tell us one of your story Sure my dear today I will tell you a story of how I became a topper of my school those were the days when the second world war was just over everyone was waiting for our independence all the people of our country were happy and cheering for our freedom fighters like all the freedom fighters even i want to do something for my country for this i have to study in a good school Since I was from a poor family I knew my parents will not be able to afford the fees so I did not dare to even ask them one day while I was studying my father and mother came to me and said your mother and I are not highly educated but we know you want to pursue higher studies We have great dreams for you Abdul. Don't worry. We will somehow manage the fees so that you can study in a good school. Which school do you want to go to? I want to join the short school which is in Ramanathapuram near Rameshwaram. Okay Abdul, I will manage something. But Abdul, you will have to study hard and make us proud. Yes. I will do my best. My brother took me to the school and completed the formalities of the admission. It was a very good school. The classrooms were big and had benches for all of us. The teachers used a blackboard and chalk for teaching. Sports activities were also encouraged in the school. During the hot days the teachers used to take us outside the classroom to study the students were made to sit under the trees and study we would go from one tree to another when we had to change our classes one day i was in a hurry so by mistake i stepped into a wrong classroom where my maths teacher was taking a class He looked at me and said, "Yes, Abdul, what do you want?" "Sir, I have come to attend my class. Can't you see this is not your class?" "Sorry, sir. What are you doing in this school if you can't even find your way to the right class? You should just go back to the village where you came from." All the other students were looking at me and laughing. The teacher then started hitting me with a stick in front of the whole class. Ah, ah, sir, sir, please, please don't hit me. I will never do it again. I was sad. I also felt homesick. I wanted to go back home, but then I thought, my parents have made great sacrifices to send me to this school. I have to make my parents proud. I made a promise to myself from this day onwards I will not only be a good student but I will be the best I studied day and night A few weeks later we had a maths exam which was conducted by that same maths teacher I wrote all the answers correctly After a few days the maths teacher declared the results Rajesh you have scored 61 out of 100 Yash you have scored 70 out of 100 Mona you have scored 80 out of 100 Abdul what do you think how much you have scored Sir I wrote all the answers correctly please tell me how much I have scored You have scored 100 out of 100 full marks Very good Abdul. Thank you sir. My dream of scoring full marks 
in the maths exam was finally completed i was happy the next morning during our assembly all the students and teachers had gathered the same teacher who had punished me smiled and said whoever i punish becomes a great man all the students started laughing he then recalled what had happened now i will tell everyone how abdul has scored full marks all the students were listening carefully the teacher pointed at me and said remember my words this boy is going to bring glory to his school and the teachers his words of praise made up for the earlier humiliation i was happy all the teachers and students started clapping after that semester i went back to my village for holidays my entire family was happy my parents hugged me with joy my brother patted on my back to encourage me i finally felt that i had done something worthy but there was still a lot to be achieved so friends this was the story of how i became a topper of my school so from today i will also study hard and try to come first yes sir even i will try to become a topper of my school and make my parents proud very good my friends good morning sir good morning friends raju why do you look upset today sir some of my classmates make fun of me all the time but why because i am from a poor family my dear friends we should study eat and play together irrespective of our religion and social status yes sir i keep telling them the same thing today i will tell you an incident that happened with me during my school days i used to live in my hometown rameshwaram in those times people used to be very strict about their religious beliefs however my science teacher shiv subramanyam ayer tried his best to break the social barriers even though he was from an orthodox family he encouraged us to study eat and play together irrespective of our religion and social status he used to spend a lot of time with me and clarify all my doubts he always used to motivate me for my future so can you please help me solve this problem sure abdul see this is how you solve it one day while i was sitting under a tree and studying he came to me and asked abdul can you come to my house tonight for dinner i was very happy to have dinner at his house but i was afraid of his wife my teacher's wife was known to be very conservative i knew she would never allow a muslim in her house and that too for dinner okay sir i will come to your house tonight that night i went to my teacher's house he took me inside and made me sit can you please bring the food as i feared my teacher's wife denied to serve the food with her hands she was so horrified at my presence that she didn't even come out of the kitchen i am busy i cannot come outside you come and take the food my teacher did not say anything to her he himself went inside the kitchen and brought the food then he served me the food with his own hands his wife was hiding behind the kitchen door and watching us both of us ate the food when i was leaving his house abdul please come home for dinner tomorrow sir no sir please i don't want to come abdul do not get upset once you decide to change the system such problems 
हैव टू बी फेस्ड ओके सर आई विल कम टूमोरो आई वेंट टू हिज हाउस द नेक्स्ट डे एंड नॉक द डोर टू माई सरप्राइज माई टीचर्स वाइफ ओपन द डोर शी टुक मी इन साइड द हाउस एंड आस्क मी टू सिट नेक्स्ट टू माई टीचर शी देन वेंट इन साइड द किचन एंड ब्रॉड द फूड हर सेल्फ शी सर्व द फूड टू द बोथ ऑफ अस विद हर ओन हैंड्स बोथ ऑफ अस हैप्पीली एट द फूड शी माइट हैव रियलाइज दैट ऑल ह्यूमन्स आर द सेम थैंक यू फॉर सर्विंग अस द डिनर थैंक यू फॉर द डिनर That evening I happily went home. People like Shiv Subramanyam Iyer have inspired me to be a good human and to face any challenge and pressure to retain my true character. We are very sorry sir. You should say sorry to Raju. We are sorry Raju. No problem my friends. Very good my dear friends. Hello friends. How are you all? Hello sir. We are fine. Sir, can you tell us how were you inspired to design a fighter jet? Sure. Me and my friends used to walk back home from school every day. On the way, we often rested near our village pond. We used to enjoy our time by throwing pebbles in the water i would often sit and watch the cranes and seagulls fly in the sky the sight of those birds inspired me and i dreamt of my future as i grew older my goal became clearer i have to go to an engineering college to fulfill my dreams the madras institute of technology popularly known as MIT was the best institution for technical studies in south india i studied day and night to win a scholarship that allowed me to study in such a reputed college on my first day to college when i entered mit i saw my goal standing in front of me the mit campus had two large aircrafts on display i was fascinated by the details of the design even i want to create such an aircraft for my final project at mit i was asked to design a fighter jet with a team of four other classmates we distributed the work among us one day my teacher reviewed my progress and said abdul I am really disappointed with your design. I had expected much more from you. I tried to explain the design to my teacher, but my teacher refused to listen. Sir, please give me one more month. I am sure I will come up with a better design. Abdul, I will give you 3 days. If on Monday morning you fail to show me a better design, I am afraid your scholarship will be cancelled i was speechless the scholarship was my lifeline i would be helpless without it i had no choice but to keep on working i continuously kept working on the design for 2 days on sunday morning i had almost completed the design when i suddenly felt a presence behind me my teacher was standing behind me and looking at my drawing after examining my work he patted me on my back and said i knew i was putting you under pressure by asking you to meet an impossible deadline but i was sure that you will perform well thank you sir it was a huge sense of joy and relief my scholarship was continued and i graduated from mit with outstanding marks i had already accomplished my goal of successfully designing an aircraft and now i was drawing close to my dream of flying one too it was amazing to think 
that just like the cranes and seagulls I had observed as a child, I would soon fly in the sky. So even I want to design a fighter jet. So I want to become a pilot. Very good. But for that, you have to study hard. We will, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, friends. How are you all? We are fine, sir. Sir, can you tell us a story today? Yes, sir. We want to hear a story today. Okay, sure. I will tell you a story of my school days. The city of Rameshwaram was famous for its Shiva temple. Every evening, I would often spend some time near the temple. The temple visitors used to stare at me suspiciously. They wondered what a Muslim boy was doing near a temple. What is he doing near our temple? We should complain to the priest. The truth was, I loved to listen to the rhythmic chanting of the mantras, though I never understood a word. There was a strange magic in them. There was one more reason for me to visit the temple. My best friend Ramananda Shastri was the son of the head priest. He used to sit next to his father reciting the mantras. I used to hide near the temple gate and watch him. He was aware of me being there. Ram would often look at me and smile. At school, Ram and I always sat together on the first bench of our classroom. Being a son of a Hindu priest, he wore a sacred thread, while my white cap marked me as a Muslim. One day, a new teacher came to our class. He looked strict. He went around the class and observed all the students. He came near us and said, You, the one in the white cap, how dare you sit beside the temple priest's son? Go, sit on the last bench. I felt hurt. With tears in my eyes, I picked up my books and shifted to the last bench. After school, Ram came to me and said, Abdul, don't worry, everything will be alright. Ram went home and told everything to his father. When I reached home, my father looked at me and said, What's wrong, Abdul? Why are you crying? I told him about the whole incident. The next morning, Ram came to my house and said, My father has asked you and your father to come to our house immediately. I was afraid. I thought Ram's father is also going to shout at me. Okay Ram, I will come with you. The three of us went to Ram's house. Ram's father and our new teacher were standing in front of Ram's house. You must apologize to Abdul for what you did in school yesterday. I could not believe what I had just heard. The head priest was asking the teacher to apologize to me. No child is less than another in God's eyes. It is your duty as a teacher to help students live in harmony in spite of the differences in their background. You can no longer teach in this school. You are dismissed. I am sorry, sir. Abdul, I am very sorry. I mistreated you. Please forgive me. It's all right, sir. I have learned an important life lesson today. Ram's father realized that the teacher sincerely regretted for his behavior and permitted him to continue his job as a teacher in our school. From that day on, Ram and I proudly sat together on the first bench. Me and Ram remained best of friends ever since. Sir, 
even we will be friends forever very good good morning sir good morning friends how are you all we are fine sir sir can you tell us about the agni missile yes sir we all want to hear about it yes sure we repeatedly tried to test launch the agni missile but we failed it was also getting delayed due to several reasons the press was eagerly paying attention to our progress such delays are common in rocket science but the entire nation was upset the news was shared on the radio and in the newspapers me and my team were having a very difficult time due to the repeated failures i called for a meeting of my entire team which had 2000 members a great opportunity has been given to us all major opportunities are accompanied by equally major challenges we cannot give up our country deserves the best from us i promise you agni will be launched successfully on our next trial my team was optimistic we all worked hard the launch was finally scheduled for 22nd may 1989 dignitaries such as the chief of army staff and the defense minister had come to witness the launch on the previous night we all had gone for a walk on the beach will we succeed with the agni launch tomorrow this question was on everyone's mind but none of us was willing to speak kalam how should we celebrate the agni success tomorrow is there anything your heart desires it was a simple question to which i could not find an immediate answer what did i want what was it that i did not have then i found the answer we need 1 lakh saplings to plant in our research center you want the blessings of mother earth for agni we will surely succeed tomorrow the next day agni took off at 7:10 in the morning 10 9 8 it was a perfect launch 5 years of continuous hard work at various work centers had finally paid off it was and will remain one of the greatest moments of my life me and my team were happy the entire nation celebrated